Islam Quarry 1. So the story of why Pakistan came back from India during the 44th Chess Olympiad starts one month back when the Chess Federation of Pakistan being newly elected within a matter of days arranged a tournament in Gilgit, Baltistan, which was the national chess championship. And we selected, uh, we selected five male members and five female members to partake in the 44th Chess Olympiad. Among them were FIDE Master Muhammad Wakar, National Master Shah Zeb, National Master Tasham from Gujranwala, uh, FIDE Master Lahore, FIDE Master Amir Kaleem from Lahore, uh, National Master Junaid, the youngest of, of everyone, only 17 years old, and upcoming talent from Lahore as well. Now, okay, uh, countless hours of man, uh, countless hours of manpower went into this tournament, making it a success, uh, selecting a team, really, and um, Okay, we had a press conference uh, after, I'd say, about a month in which um, the chess, uh, president of the Chess Federation of Pakistan and the finance secretary as well as the general secretary made comments on how they were excited and thrilled to be going into an international stage after such a long time and that um, this would be a great opportunity for our players, especially the younger ones, to enhance their chess skills, boost their rating, get titles for the country, and the chess community in Pakistan, as well as I, were ecstatic that um, our country's top players were, would be competing with big names. Uh, and that was the case. I mean, in the first round, we were to be paired with Armenia and our players were going to be playing against 2600 GMs. And I was excited to see how well they could fare against that. And I mean, we are seeing uh, countless, uh, I'd say, uh, disruptions and countless upsets within the tor tournament already in the first two rounds. Uh, my friend recently told me Sam Shanklin drew a 2200. Um, some international ma master drew Lebanon Aronian uh, in the first round and um, there was this other 2200s who were uh, almost winning against um, uh, they had winning positions against GMs from Norway. Now uh, I, I'm not one to boast, but I think Pakistan's uh, uh, top players could make a few upsets and um, it would be very interesting for me and as well as the other chess community to see that. Now, okay, our chess team was ready. We have um, FIDE Master Amir Kareem. We have National Master Shahzeb, National Master Junaid Sohail. Over here, we have the women team. The uh, We have uh, uh, the... Women's champion Mehak Gul, her sister over here, uh, um, and uh, Noor Rashid over here, and um, another older female player as well. And we were ready to, you know, take over the stage and, um, you know, show the world what we were made of. So with that, uh, we traveled to Amritsar by road. Uh, you guys can see over here, uh, the teams reached Amritsar, everyone's happy. Um, they have their passports in hand and this is how they traveled. Uh, they traveled by bus to uh, Amritsar and um, we have our uh, esteemed and respectable uh, member of the ch chess community, Mr. Raja Gohar, uh, who was leading the team um, by, you know, having an on-field presence there. Uh, they played a couple of chess games at the airport and made their way to Chennai. Now, they've reached Chennai. And uh, it was at this moment, I, I was following their travels and, you know, it's night and I went to sleep. I was like, okay, they've reached Chennai. Uh, tomorrow, they'll be playing games, right? And I was pretty happy, pretty stoked about that. The next morning, I woke up to this picture, which is actually, you know what, uh, it's just basically the th uh, three players, you know, having fun at night on the Chennai, um, Ch Ch Chennai airport. Now, the next picture shared in my WhatsApp group was this. Pakistan ki shitranj olympiad ko siyasi rang dene ki bharti koshish ki musammat and I was like what and the next picture was this Pakistan which had until yesterday decided to partake in the 44 chess olympiad being hosted by India has now backed out saying that India is politicizing the event and I was like what why what's happened and I was pretty confused I thought this was fake news but as it turned out I was not that lucky and Pakistan had indeed backed out of the chess Olympiad. Now what had happened was that um, our team 
had no clue that um, we were not going to be playing in the event. We actually got a call uh, from, or we were told by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that um, we were not to play in in the tournament. And as we, being Pakistani as we were, being um, a patriot, uh, patriotic, and you know, uh, we were uh, we were told the reason. And after hearing the reason, all of us were convinced that this is the right course of action. Um, India chose to politicize this prestigious international sporting event by passing the torch relay through the illegally occupied Jammu Kashmir area uh, through Srinagar on 21st June. Now, the India brought politics into sport. And whenever someone does that, that's obviously going to bring up issues. Now, Pakistan Pakistanis being patriotic towards their Kashmiri brothers and sisters as they were decided that it would be in our best interest not to play in this to- uh, tournament the indian reaction to that was that um, okay okay we'll give indians the benefit of the doubt they m- may not have known that they were giving a political color to the sport by passing the th- torch through Srinagar. but uh, these are very really delicate matters and uh, i w- i'd wanted a organization as profession professional as the Indian uh, Chess Federation AICF or India Chess Federation uh, to be mindful of the fact that you know sentiments could have been hurt by the passing through of the uh, torch through Kashmir, which bring, brings me to another point. Russia isn't taking part in the tournament. Why? Because of their ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Now we could say the same for India. India ha- has the same ongoing conflict in Kashmir where 650 innocent Kashmiris have been martyred to date. Now, I would, uh, I as a chess player was absolutely distraught and grief stricken by the fact that our team would not be playing in this tournament. It, It would have been huge for them to compete on the world's biggest stage, play with these big stars, boost their rating, get titles as I said. But, um, as Pakistanis, Pakistan always comes first. Pakistan, there will be no compromise uh, as to what Pakistan, what the chess community can give for Pakistan, uh, for Kashmir. And as a member of the chess community in Pakistan, I'm telling you guys right now that um, no sacrifice is too small for a for Pakistan, uh, for the chess community to give for Pakistan. Now, with that being said. I am absolutely distraught that our team did not get to play within this event. The players were robbed of a big opportunity and um, I, I would like to see that Pakistan continues the this um, you know process uh, and you know g- gives us something in return like we didn't partake in the chess Olympiad because um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs told us not to and um, they released this press release over here. And uh, uh, because the, uh, because it's because of them that we didn't take part in the tournament, right? So it's only fair that the sponsor were placed into another tournament uh, of equal standing. Now, in 2024, the National Olympiad is going to be held and I wish the Pakistan team best of luck for their future endeavors. As for any Indians watching uh, this video, um, I hope that uh, sense prevails and peace prevails between our two countries. And uh, it's this sense of brotherhood which makes uh, Pakistan, uh, which makes chess such a great sport that we are all brothers in the sense that we're connected by this beautiful game. As uh, the FIDE president uh, said, we are one family. With that being said, I hope that this uh, boycott does not uh, harm any international relations we have with other countries uh, in within the chess world and uh, that sense prevails and um, yeah that is about it thank you for watching the video do let me know in the comments um, if you have any thoughts on the matter i will be continuing my coverage of the pakistani chess nationals i'll probably be posting a video uh, on round two tomorrow do check that out as well and with that i'd say goodbye and uh, take care